I'm Peter Block here at TCT in Denver, Colorado for On the Scene. And with me is Vivek, Vivek Reddy, an old friend from Columbia, New York, uh, and who has had a long interaction with left atrial appendage occlusion. Vivek, uh, now we have the PREVAIL trial out to five years, is that right? Yep, And that's right. Uh, we now know also, or we knew two years ago, that this trial was positive finally, mm -hmm. uh, and that in fact it pays to close off the left atrial appendage. So PREVAIL now has matured five years out. Where do we stand with this trial? Sure, Peter. So first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, a couple of things. You know, PREVAIL was designed to, for a primary efficacy endpoint that was uh, supposed to be at about 18 months, and we did that analysis. But both PREVAIL as well as PROTECT AF, which preceded that, both of these trials were planned to follow the patients out to five years. And now both, patient, both trials have actually completed follow-up. All patients have completed the five-year time point. So this is the, all the randomized data that we'll ever have. So we looked at the analysis, and basically it looks pretty much the same as before, which we were actually quite uh, happy about. And let me explain. Um, when we look at PREVAIL, the, the, if you recall, PREVAIL was a much smaller trial than PROTECT. PROTECT was a strikingly positive trial, both in terms of having similar stroke, less hemorrhagic stroke, and less mortality. PREVAIL was a smaller trial. The confidence intervals were quite wide. One of the non-inferiority endpoints was met and the other was not. So we did a meta-analysis, which again was favorable, consistent with the PROTECT data. Now this is all old history. But what we wanted to see was, do these, uh, do these endpoints, do these outcomes actually hold fast out to five years? You know, as you know, patients get these devices and they have them for the rest of their lives, so this is an important issue. So if I can give you the sort of the top line um, outcomes, a couple of things. First, if you look at both data sets and combine them together, which we were able to do because it was the same patient population, even the same investigators actually. So, and, and the same device. And the same device, exactly. So when we did a patient level meta-analysis, what we found were, number one, local therapy with closing off the appendage works as well as systemic therapy in terms of preventing all-cause stroke. Number two, there was a statistically significant decrease in hemorrhagic stroke. And that was important for patients for a couple of reasons. One, there were fewer disabling or fatal strokes. And two, that also decreased all-cause mortality. And you know, as you know, having an intervention that decreases mortality, it's not very common. So I think that was a very important finding. Um, ischemic stroke was a little bit higher in the Watchman group compared to the Warfarin group, but this did not reach statistical significance. So at this point, I think the data looks pretty much similar to what we saw earlier. So left atrial appendage clearly is here to stay. We now have data to support that out to five years. Is there anything in these data, Vivek, that makes you pause? Um, not really. I mean, I think the data is very similar to what we saw before. I mean, uh, certainly if you look at PREVAIL by itself, it was a very small trial, and there were not that many patients. So you, all the confidence intervals are quite wide. Uh, so if you, and PREVAIL also was really a study that was really aimed to look at safety, not so much efficacy. So I think the, I think the data is what we expect. I also want to point out one really important thing. You know, these patients, they were somewhere between 74 and 75 years old, or I think 73 and 74 years old when they entered the trial. And these are elderly patients, and despite that, when we followed them out to five years, we still saw an almost 30% decrease in outcomes mortality, which is a big deal because of the competing risks of, uh, of death. Okay, so there you have it, uh, left atrial appendage watchman device, probably here to stay. It's a good device, and the data certainly support the fact that we should close off the left atrial appendage in patients with AF. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, Vivek.